What does it mean to you to finish your career in third place? Um, it's a good top to the career, I suppose, and um, just battled through a lot of injuries, a lot of adversity over the years. It's just been amazing. I can't thank everyone enough. So, it's really good. What's the list of injuries? The elbow, the knee, what else do we not even know about? Two elbows, both knees, ribs, the list goes on. Ankle, high ankle sprain. I had a series of injuries at the beginning of the year, it kept me out for a while. And just kept pushing every day. Because you only wrestled 10 matches coming into this tournament so this year, right? Yeah, so it was uh, another year. Not what I expected, but Turns out alright in the end. So and you had last night you had a nice revenge match against uh, Gant. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, that one felt really good. So that was one of the better times to to get a win against him. So ACC I didn't get my fourth ACC title because of him, but I guess I got it where it counts. So uh, to, to end your career with, with, the, with this kind of tournament for the team and to see this team you know battle for fourth place and, and you know which what is your goal going into the year as a team. Yeah. Uh, how satisfying is it to be part of it? how this team has done these last during your career in the NCAA. Yeah, I mean, you said that satisfying is a perfect word. And, you know, it's not over yet. We've still got work to do. So the guys out there, I mean, I've done my part. I could probably could have done more and picked up bonus points in certain places. But, you know, it's it's just good to be able to compete and for a title and get our name on the map. And I think all year long we've been undervalued. And our, us as a team, we've just been doing what we've been doing every day. And some of the coaches and all, I mean, all the coaches, obviously, have told us and we believe, they believe, our fans believe, and a lot of other people didn't, but we did. And you feel like they're leaving the program in a pretty good place here? I mean, you're the only senior of the guys that are here. Yeah, I mean, they got a lot of guys coming back, so not, I'm not that big of a loss. <laughs> so they'll be fine without me. We'll keep going. And... I don't know about that. Three time All-American now. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. What now, Nick? What now? I don't know. Just uh, kind of evaluate, take a couple weeks, maybe get my body feeling a little bit better. Go from there, that's the first step, is being able to sleep through the night and without any injuries, any pain. But uh, I'd like to stay in coaching, and you know, I don't think this sport has done so much for me. The past two years have kept that in perspective for me, so I don't think I can leave, I don't think I can step away. So um, I'll be looking to coach and help out anywhere, and who knows, maybe someday own a club, do something like that. And, I can never leave this sport. It's been too good to me. For people who don't understand the injuries you deal with, why is it worth it? <laughs> For moments like these, talking to you guys, seeing my fans, that's pretty much it, you know? Anytime. It's been more than just the past two years, 20, 20 some years. <laughs> I've put into it, so you want, you want the results. This year was the knee for you, and what else this year that kept you out? First injury was broken rib. First day St. John came into practice. I wrestled him, broke my rib. Then I got frostbite, missed the all-star match. I was supposed to wrestle Martinez. Then I sprained my ankle. Then I tear my MCL on the left side. And then UVA duel in mid-January. Tore my MCL on my right side, too. So. Just been going through it all. Both torn MCL on both knees this year. Yeah, partially torn. So. Yeah. I mean, we haven't gotten this one MRI yet because we didn't have enough time. So this one was definitely torn, and I had some time to recover that one, and it feels all right. But this one, we just had to push through it and get here, do whatever I could. Virginia, Ohio, Colorado. <laughs> Where's it gonna be, man? Where are you going? I don't know. For, for probably for the short term, I'll stay. In Virginia, unless you know I have coaching offers elsewhere that you know work for me, then I'll go. I'm I'm ready to go anywhere. You know I'd like to stay in Virginia. I think they have a good good thing going at Tech and good options for school. Maybe continue grad school, something like that. And we'll see. Colorado is the ultimate goal, though. You know my brothers and I have talked that about that for a while and being out there. And I think being able to have a club, you know, or maybe, you know, like something like Coach Jordan's got going, you know, I love that. It's what I grew up in. I would love to do something to uh, get back to the sport. I think it's done, like I said, it's done so much for me. I think it's time for me to get back, you know, so I'll stay in it.